Hello everyone, Dean on the street here in Incitawka, in my hometown, which is the biggest story in the world today. Okay, my featured guests, as I told you earlier, one of the most famous people in the world today is this beautiful, beautiful animal by the name of Storm. Storm is on in every news, radio, TV, the internet, over two million views on the internet. Storm is known all over the world. He's been in limousines today, all over the New York Times, every single show uh, you could think of. Uh, and I'm proud to be sitting here, uh, right here in my community. Uh, if you thought to talk, it got to be well known through the Dean Blackman show. It's really going to be known through uh, Storm. And I'm here with Storm's dad, Mark Freely. Mark, I want to thank you. You know, I know you had a busy day. And you've been all over Manhattan, all over every, uh, I mean, name some. Uh, why don't you just share what's, what's, what's going on oh. with, your, with your life? Well first, well, first of all, let me set this up in case you don't know. Uh, the Port Jefferson, the Long Island Sound, uh, you and Storm happen to be there. And next thing you know, you're taking a, a, a video of Storm jumping into the water and saving this uh, baby fawn that was in that was in distress. I mean, if you don't mind for my audience, I mean, set that all up, uh, how that how that occurred that day. It was Sunday, right? This sure. past Sunday. It was Sunday morning. Um, st I was giving Storm a treat day at the beach because uh, we foster for Last Chance Animal Rescue. We're very involved in animal rescue for many years. My other dog, Sarah, is a rescue. She's a Border Collie Lab mix. And the three of us go to the beach almost every weekend. Either there or we go to Stony Brook Village and we walk around there over to Avalon Preserve. But um, we had two puppies we were fostering all week and they were torturing him. They were chewing his tail, biting his paws, chasing him around the house. I'm like, you know what, Sunday we're going to the beach. As soon as you say beach, he knows, goes to the door, I open the back of my car, he jumps in and we go. So the three of us head down the porch at Village. I hit my favorite Starbucks and we're on the beach about quarter to eight that morning. Um, with the only ones on the beach. I think I passed one guy with his dog and that was it. So we did our, we were doing our normal walk out to Pirate's Cove. If you know Pirate's Cove. Yes, the, I do. The inlet yes, where do. the ferry comes in. And it's about a two mile, you know, fun walk. And he swims along the way on and off. I'll throw rocks. He likes to chase rocks. I'm going to tell you, he's a retriever. But if I threw a tennis ball out into the sound, I'm not getting back. Wow. Okay. Amazing. So, when we're talking about him bringing me a fawn, I just did not expect that. So we're walking, we're about three quarters of the way over to um, Pirate's Cove, and um, there's a, bend, a sharp bend in the shoreline. So he's ahead of me, uh, the dogs are allowed off leash out there by the, by the shoreline, and um, he takes off around the bend. So Sarah and I are a little bit behind, I don't see what he's running to, I hear a splashing, I see him running, charging into the water. And he's swimming, swimming, swimming. I'm like, he must see something. And then I'm looking, I'm getting closer, and I see a head bobbing, like a brown head. So I'm looking, I'm like, it looks like a deer. And then I got closer, closer, I said, it looks like a young deer. Um, and he's getting closer and closer, the fawn is swimming. And um, then I see he's getting to the fawn, he gets to the fawn, and then he's like trying to maneuver around. He doesn't know what to do. And then I see the fawn's head go under a few times. And um, it comes up. I see him stretch his neck, open his mouth, and he grabs the fawn by the neck. Just like a lifeguard would do this to bring someone into shore. Amazing. That's what he does. Amazing. And he's facing sideways. Then he turns his body around, faces me, starts heading to shore with the fawn in his mouth. Wow. And um, I'm not, so then you hear me on the video saying, good boy, Storm, good boy, Storm. Because I was encouraging him. Over two million views on this video on the internet. Amazing. I'm beyond shocked. I, I mean, if you had told me that, I, I share photos and videos of my dogs with my other fam, um, animal rescuers Yes. all the time. So it's not unusual for me to be taking photos of the dogs on the beach. And that's why I had the, the camera out. Okay. I got to ask you this question, Warren. As Storm's father, as, <laughs> as, Storm, as Storm's dad, yeah. Come on, tell my tell tell my audience how proud are, how proud are you of of Storm? 
Listen, this is a dog that's never given me a day of grief. I've never had to raise my voice. He was trained with positive reinforcement. He only knows love and caring and attention. And I swear, that's part of his personality. And uh, to see him act like that, and more importantly, when he brought the phone back to shore and it laid down, he stayed with the phone. And then when it got up and tried to run and then collapsed again, he follows it and he lays down right next to the phone. And he starts going like this, mouthing the ear to try to get it to do something. And then when it's not responsive, he takes his nose and starts nuzzling in to the belly of the form. And I'm like, I can't believe I have this on tape. Wow. And then after that, it's still not responsive. He takes his paw and he starts pulling the leg of the form. Amazing, Mark. Amazing. I mean, Amazing. And, and, and I was getting grief on social media from a select few saying, oh, you know, Dor uh, Storm was being aggressive, and he really wanted to hurt the fawn, and I'm like, you either don't know dogs or you're misreading that video, because nothing in that video or that moment was about him doing harm to the deer. Wow. Well, listen, it's a great, it's, it's, it's a very inspirational, exciting story. And listen, when, when uh, listen, you, Storm's now six years old, okay? You've raised him, yes. okay? So a lot of credit has to go to you. You've raised them. So uh, it's really remarkable. Okay. What advice, what advice do you have for this experience? Do you have any advice for dog owners out there? Uh, advice that I can give is when you're training your dog from the start, okay, it's all about positive reinforcement, loving the dog, and not raising your voice, never taking a hand to the dog, and letting that dog be raised in a safe, loving, secure environment. And this is the type of dog that, uh, that we'll, you'll be blessed with. We raised him um, to be gentle. We brought him for three months of training at assisted living facilities, where he would train among the residents in a group with other dogs. And he learned to be fine with all different types of people and situations. We socialize them with other dogs and we foster dogs. He gets socialized by them. I've never seen him do anything the least bit aggressive. And in fact, when he smiles sometimes, he'll smile and he'll raise his mouth like this to show his teeth. Do people get scared? It's a smile. Well, well, you want to know something? I've had my show now for a year, the Dean Blackman Show and Dean on the Street. So far, Storm is my uh, easiest guest so far, okay, <laughs> on the show. Yeah. Listen, if you could just real quickly, the last 24, 48 hours, why don't you just share with everybody what the last 24, 48 hours, what you and Storm have been doing going into the city, people coming here all it, over what's going on. It's been a little bit crazy. Uh, I think our first guest was Channel 2 News. They came here, did a uh, on the couch interview with Storm. And uh, the next morning it was News 12, right down in Harborfront Park in Port Jeff for a long time. As soon as they finished, it was Jody from Fox 5 News. As soon as Jody finished, it was Inside Edition down there. Then they followed me back to the house for interview with Storm on the Couch. Then I witnessed news came later that evening. Then we got a call from Fox and Friends. They wanted him there tomorrow morning. They were sending a limo. And we hopped in the limo this morning down to the city. We came back. On the way back, on the way in, I gave an interview to WBLI Radio. On the way back, I gave an interview to the New York Times, and then they had me meet a reporter down in Port Jefferson Village. Um, and then um, this great video, this great interview, and uh, tomorrow, uh, Pix 11, they're sending a limo, wow. and he's going down to the city again. Awesome. And uh, there's a couple other you know, interviews to do. Um, but um, I just want to tell people that there's also a Facebook page that we created. Um, it's called uh, Good Boy Storm. And the reason we created it is to raise awareness about animal rescue and animal welfare. And there's going to be links there that you can make donations to. Uh, I'm with Last Chance Animal Rescue. But there's two other really important rescues that were involved. It's the wildlife rescue. After we left the fawn and it looked okay, we headed back into port. I sent the video to two welfare organizations for wildlife and just to see if they thought it needed to be seen. They did, and Frankie from Strong Island 
Animal Rescue League. They met me in port. Me, Storm, Frankie, and Sarah hiked back out to where this happened. The fawn was still laying by the water, and Frankie tried to approach it. It got up and jumped back in the water. So at that point, I asked Frankie, should I release Storm? I had him on leash um, to try to catch the fawn again. We did. By that time, the fawn was too far out in the harbor. Storm tried. He had to turn around and come back. We had to wait for the fawn to tire out. Boats are going by. We're waving to boats. No one's stopping. About 10 minutes went by. The fawn got tired and started swimming towards Frankie, who was wading out into the water. Um, and then I waded into the water behind the fawn in case it started to go back out again. It went right to Frankie. He grabbed it, gave it to his partner. They took it to a... Uh, his partner's car that was parked in Belterre and took him over to Star, which is um, Save the Animals Rescue in Middle wow. Island. Wow. And they're a wildlife rehab. And they both have Facebook pages and websites and they both need everybody's support because you know what? They're on the front lines volunteering every day for wildlife. Just and you share those, how, to, how to, my audience can contact. We'll have, link, we'll have links to both of those organizations okay. on A Good Boy Storm on Facebook. Right. And hopefully we can share it uh, with the show. Here, that would be with, great. With this interview. Yeah. Well, listen, I want to thank you. It's a pleasure. I want to thank you very much uh, for being on my show. And I want to thank uh, Storm as well. What, uh, what a beautiful... Uh, listen, this is, uh, for me, uh, in my life, and especially a year into my show, this has been one of the most exciting, uh, inspiring experiences ever in my life, and not only with the show. And uh, some really, there's some unbelievable people here where I live out here in Setauket, if you've never been out here. And he has a first-hand experience of Mark Freely and his child, Storm, making a difference in people's life. And uh, this, uh, this has been a, a remarkable experience, and thank you for being here on Dean on the Street, the Dean Blackman Show. I just like to say one thing. It's amazing how this video has touched people. I've been messaged, text, called from people, not just in the United States, all over the country. Just coming here back from Port Jefferson today, a lady called me, I forget the state, it might have been Connecticut, crying, wow. saying, thank you so much for posting the video. And I never really thought that it would have that much of an effect on people, but I'm happy that that it did because there's really not enough good news to go around. You know what? This is uh, this is one of the greatest stories I've ever heard, not just of this year, because as you're right, there's not good stories out there. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad you and Storm were on my show, and uh, I also want to expose you to the world. So, uh, and we're neighbors. Yes, we're so neighbors. So I'm sure you and Storm are going to be back on my show yeah. many times. And you know what? We're neighbors and now we're friends. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and Storm too. So next time next time you come on in the studio and we put we put headphones on All right. on, on Storm and we do a show in the studio. You got it. But uh, I just want to say thank you from all of us at the Dean Blackman show uh, from Dean on the Street. We'll see you soon. Take care from Setauket, New York, Long Island. I'm here with Mark Freely and one of the most famous people in the world right now, Storm. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.